Hi everybody. In this video, I will show you some instruction how to send a Docker log from the, your server or your EC2 instance to the AWS CloudWatch log group. So we will have a single scenario that I assume that you will not use some container orchestrator like the ECS or the EKS. You just install the Docker service standalone on some service on the on remix or you install the Docker image Docker service on your Amazon EC2. So you will run some Docker container and you will have a demand that you want to set the lock Docker container in your server to the AWS CloudWatch lock group. And so how we can do it? The first you will need to know that your AWS IAM Cloud Watch log group permission that we will have at least two permission. One is the re-i the log stream and the second is for the push log events. So come back to this first scenario with the Amazon EC2, you can use the instant row files to attach you the Amazon EC2 and you will have the permission related to the AWS Cloud Log Group Boot Event and we are in the Log Group Stream and then next in your on remix if you need or uh, you have a demand to send the log to the Amazon Cloud Log Group you can configure the AWS credential on your server and let the Docker use so in this uh, video, I will show you how to send the lock, Docker lock that you install in the Amazon EC2 instance. And how they can do is Docker support some built-in block driver like the Splunk, the Jason 5, the FluentD, CCB lock, and AWS lock. And this is the built-in log driver will help you to send the Docker log to the AWS Cloud log group. And you can this is the place. The configuration is very simple. They just have some instruction like the clocking driver option. And in the option you can see that we can specific the reason for your Cloud log group and uh, da, 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 and you will set the uh, AWS log group name. You can set the AWS log stream. If you don't set it, this will give the container ID as a log stream. And the most important that you can use the enable the feature that uh, this driver will read the AWS Cloud log group. By default, when it sends the first log message from your Docker container to AWS Cloud Group. Okay, so let's hang on. Okay, so I will have one EC2 instance, and when I see the instant row file is, you can see that's a. Uh, I am row is NSM EC2 and in this my SFM EC2 I will have the policy for CloudWatch log. You can retreat with the at least permission for it or you can hand, uh, do it quickly with the attached the redefine from the AWS managed I am policy CloudWatch log would access. So I will access to my EC2 instance. Okay, so yes, I have installed some uh, Docker service and we will have two ways to do it. First, you can run with your Docker run and in your Docker run you will see that we will have some
as you can see it the blue one very simple that we will have a lock driver then you will have a lock option lock option and that's all so we change it for setting lock driver option reason lock and create group this is enough so I will run this now with the edited container image okay so you can see that uh, we have one running container and in the cloud log group at once yes and it will mask your container IDs okay so you can see the start next uh, start of service in your container so now we will try to curl it okay so after some minutes like one or two minutes we will update for you okay so it's very quickly so i remember wrong that's one or two minutes it will update for you and you can uh, use a docker compile to do it It's very simple, right? We just need to configure the, configure the blocking driver option AWS log, let the Docker run as hot command lines, and right now I will try to run it, but it will fail because we are using the same uh, block hiding. So I will try to remove the current running container. Okay, so I will up this. Okay, so I will curl again. So I have some that I will have a new uh, log stream with a container ID like this. Yep, so you can see that we have configured the uh, Container. We have a, we have configured the container with some setting related to the log driver AWS log, and it will have the Docker sit or send your log message from your Docker standard R and standard error to service AWS cloud log group. So it's very very simple. Thank you for watching.